I'm Chiara D'Amico, I live and work in the Amalfi Coast, a precious place. In fact, it has been protected by UNESCO as World Patrimony. Here is my passionate portrait of its incredible resources, with interviews with local experts and information on new itineraries. And now look at the best parts of my tourist video guide of the Amalfi Coast, my precious land. Every village on the Amalfi Coast has its own typical dish. Today I'm with some of the best known chefs of the coast. They will help recommend some of the most typical traditional recipes that we should try. I'd recommend trying the fresh fish-based dishes with seasonal products. It's worth mentioning the well-known Delizia al Limone, Lemon Delight, which is the best known dessert in Positano. Of course, the Delizia al Limone is a local dessert made with the Amalfi Sfusato Lemon, which is also used to make Limoncello the lemon liqueur. The lemon delight is a dessert made with sponge cake, lemon cream and real cream. But let's talk about a recipe for a common meal and how it's prepared. What dish do you want to present to our viewers? I have chosen a calamarata with scorfano, scorpion fish, that we often recommend to our customers because the scorpion fish is a very tasty fish. It can be paired with pasta very well. Okay, let's get some paper and a pen to write down the recipe. First, you have to clean the fish. Chop it up into smaller pieces to cook faster. Then dice some small tomatoes. Heat olive oil in a pan and add garlic, red chili to flavor the oil, and then add the pieces of fish, eggplant, and tomatoes. Let it cook for a minute and then add some white wine. In the meantime, cook the calamarata, which is pasta from Gragnano made of durum wheat. Watch it carefully because it has a long cooking time. I'd like to recommend to you a couple of events hoping that they might enliven your stay in the Amalfi Coast. Let's start talking about Gusto Minori or Taste Minori, the yearly tourist festival mixing culture and gastronomy in the town of Minori. Since 1997, our association has managed this festival which celebrates the wines and gastronomic traditions of the Amalfi Coast. On this occasion, there is a packed cultural program made up of theater, musical productions, and cinema. We are now here with Hiking Guide, and he'll give you some useful information to visit the most beautiful paths on the Amalfi Coast. The first path is the famous Trail of the Gods, with marvelous scenery, one of the most spectacular wa walks in the world. Positano-style fashion is a style of clothing design that was created in Positano at the beginning of the 50s. It was first launched by a group of ingenious, skillful local dressmakers who elaborated a style that is still well known and much appreciated all over the world today. At first, they used to work with canvas. The handkerchiefs called makaturi, large pieces of cloth used for various purposes. And after the villas, the natural symbols of Capri, the island of love, the rocks of the Faraglioni. There is a natural hole in the second rock. To notice other examples of Vietri ceramics around the town, you just need to have a look at the local shops. Just to give you an example, if you walk into a fish shop, you may find some Maiolica ceramic panels narrating the work of fishermen. The same happens everywhere in Vietri. Sure. The ceramics of Vietri sul mare are an age-old ceramic making tradition with a distinctive popular flavor. Exactly because they mirror the local genius, the soul of the land where they were born. They express themselves with the colors and the reality that our artists see outside their potteries.
Now I'd like to chat about some of the Amalfi Coast regional specialities. They are truly unique and I think everyone who visits the area should try them. The Colatura de Alici, in English the anjovi straining, is the noble descendant of the antique Roman recipe for garum. Garum was locally produced in Pompeii and was described by Plinius in his writings. Mm -hmm. 